All right, YouTube, welcome back to another episode. This is a quick fix in our tutorial series on making an FPS in Unreal Engine. Now, this is an issue that many of you have noticed, and honestly, I have noticed it for a, a number of weeks and for episodes, but uh, I just haven't addressed it. And no, sadly, it's it's not this looking bug, I know. It's, it's the ammo. So obviously right now, yes, there should be nothing in our ammo, but if we pick up the gun, our ammo should update, and it doesn't even if we shoot and all that like we have ammo the data is there but the ui clearly doesn't know it well there's two main ways to fix this i'm going to give you the dirty and easy way and then we'll give you the slightly more efficient way that's going to be the permanent way that we'll use for the future well the nice and easy way is if you've been following my visuals sorry for not talking through that we're just going to open our hud we have the uh, event for connecting to our player and getting the weapon data right and the weapon data is what stores all of our ammo data that goes to the HUD. Well, the easiest way we can fix this to just be checked all the time is we don't want to be setting the player all the time, but we do want to be doing this branch kind of. We don't necessarily want to be setting the weapon all the time either, but this is kind of the, like I said, quick, easy, dirty way not good for resources or efficient, even though this isn't going to lag you out a ton. It's just one of those things that will pile up upon many other systems being in place. So there is a more efficient way to do this, and we'll get to that. But if we hit play and we go pick up the weapon, once we picked it up, our ammo shows up. <clears throat> Basically because nothing previously was telling it to reset the weapon now that we do have it this was just doing it on construct or in terms of a actor or other blueprints on begin play right the second this ui is constructed and in the world it runs this so our player exists it can connect to this but our gun isn't equipped the second we spawn in anymore so it doesn't know that we have a weapon and, and thusly doesn't recheck that every time we try and do something we need to tell it to recheck every time. So I am going to disconnect the tick, delete this up here, and then I'm going to make a new event. And I'm just going to call this update UI. Uh, and we're going to use this for a lot of things in the future. But right now, all this is going to do is run this once. So this isn't going to be on a tick or anything. It's just going to run set weapon. Uh, every time update UI is called. Now, in the future, we're going to branch this off to run multiple things, and we'll just pass an enum through if we need to, or we'll also have an enum that does all of them and just and just updates the entire UI. So there there will be uh, basically a con a controllable features of what we want to update because it will get it, it can get laggy and inefficient if you just try to update the entire UI every time you want to update something. Sometimes you just want to control that specific things, and there's different ways. But aside from that tangent, let's go back and uh, let's actually, pardon me, let's go to our character and see what we need to do in there. And the first thing we need to do is go to our equipped weapon down here. So on equip uh, item, right? I said equip weapon, pardon. On equip item, at the end of it, we have this branch where we check the primary weapon if it's valid or if it's not valid. Well, if it's valid, it just goes to our bag and we don't uh, or will because we don't have we don't have inventory yet, but we're, we'll, we'll get there. If we do have a weapon equipped, it does nothing. And if we don't, then it sets that as the equipped weapon and sets that as primary, of course, because we've already set and equipped it here. So what we want to do is actually get our UI down here and get update oh we need to compile our hud sorry if you ever do this this is a little tip if you add something like a variable event anything and you don't see it in the other blueprint that you're trying to reference it's because you need to compile this to kind of like finish it up and just let it know yes this is the this is the temporary changes i want to make you haven't saved it you just compiled it to let it know that it works well, now we can go back to here and do update UI, connect that. So now let's just go back and check the tick is not connected. I'll even delete it here. We'll go back and play. Popped up on my other monitor here and we pick up the gun. Our UI is updated and that's basically because we know that this is the primary weapon that we're picking up. We don't have anything in our hands and 
we want that d- ammo data of the primary weapon, which is what the HUD belongs to. It's it's f- it's not feeding the ammo of your inventory. It's feeding the ammo of what you're holding. So we know that this is what happens when we're setting a new item to hold. We wouldn't want to update the UI, uh, at least in the same way. I'll get to this in the future, but like we wouldn't up- want to update the UI if it's, of course, you know, going into our inventory. We would un- want to update the inventory and whatnot, but uh, that's something we would do down here. And like I said, that will be a future episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this fix helped. And in the next episode, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet. It might actually be a little bit of inventory uh, and it might be some other fixes. So stick around. I know you guys want interaction and I'll, I'll probably touch on that too, like doors and stuff. So stick around and I'll have some new updates in the future. Thank you very much and have a good one, guys.